dudes, it's me. Welcome back to the Movie Reviewers 100. This is a collaboration channel uh, in which a bunch of us review movies with a common theme each week. Each week has a new theme. <clears throat> My name is Scott, also known as Cineram here on YouTube. I do the Thursday videos, and this week's theme is Charlize Theron, an acclaimed actress who hails from Wakanda. No, sorry, South Africa, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> so, she came over here uh, in the mid-90s, <clears throat> made her presence be known in a film which EJ uh, reviewed earlier this week called Two Days in the Valley, which I saw in the theater in 1996 and haven't seen a lick of it since. Sorry. Um, at the time, I thought, I guess it was good, but I really don't remember. <laughs> um, also, that same year... She had a small role in the Tom Hanks film, That Thing You Do, about the um, 60s boy band. Uh, and uh, basically, she was uh, Tom Everett Scott's girlfriend, but he dumps her in favor of Liv Tyler in the end. Uh, so, there you go. Um, Charlize Theron has gone on to mucho acclaim and an Oscar for Monster, of course. And when she's not playing uh, incredibly intimidatingly beautiful women, she's playing pretty messed up people. Monster, which she won an Oscar for. She's very messed up in that. And she's very messed up uh, in the film which I saw, which is uh, something that was released pretty recently called Dark Places. Um, it was um, uh, taken from a novel by Gillian Flynn, who also wrote uh, the novel a Gone Girl, which was turned into a David Fincher film with uh, Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike. Um, so this movie was directed by a guy named... Gillet Paquet Brenner, I think. I'm probably pronouncing that name wrong. He seems French. Um, he is the director of Pretty Things with Marion Cotillard, Sarah's Key with Kirsten Scott Thomas, sorry, Kristen Scott Thomas, and Walled in a Horror Flick with Misha Barton. I have seen all of those movies. No, I haven't seen any of them. Don't know. So I'm not really familiar with this guy's work. Sorry. Um, Dark Places uh, has uh, Charlize Theron playing... Um, uh, a woman who 30 years ago uh, suffered a pretty devastating uh, attack on her family. Um, uh, her mother was played by Christina Hendricks in the flashbacks, and they lived on this farm. And um, she and uh, two of her sisters, uh, her mother and two of her sisters were killed, basically, uh, when Charlie Theron's character was a little girl, and uh, her brother was accused of the crime and convicted and sent to prison. He's been in prison ever since. Um, so, since that time, she has sort of um, lived off of the goodwill and charity of people who were sympathetic to her. They would send her checks and donations and things like that, and she would live off that, but the money is really drying up, and she's desperate, and her financial advisor is telling her, look, what if you maybe, like, got a job? And she's like, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for that. She's still pretty shaken up, even 30 years later, uh, by the fact that this uh, horrible thing happened to her family. So this is a big mystery about um, whether her brother actually did it or not. Her brother as an adult is played by, um, oh boy, here's what happens. I always forget the key names of the people right here. Um, Corey Stoll, right, sorry. Corey Stoll, who played the villain in Ant-Man, is in House of Cards in the first season. Um, he plays uh, her brother, and she goes to visit him because she's paid to by a group that is interested in true crime. Um, Nicholas Holt uh, plays um, the foremost character in this group, and he contacts her and says, look, we're willing to pay you in order to talk to your brother and just find out a little bit more about what happened, because we think he might be innocent. And she's just like, you're crazy, but she's desperate for money, so she does it anyway. Um, and uh, uh, I find this character really similar to uh, the character she played in Monster, and at least one other film that escapes my memory, but she's just sort of like really kind of ragged and uh, just, just out of sorts and uh, doesn't have her stuff together at all. Um, and she's just desperate, you know, in, in terms of her life, really. Um, she's very, very touchy, you know, she doesn't let people get near her. Um, she thinks the whole um, group of people that want to brother prove her brother innocent as a bunch of loonies, um, but eventually she starts to dig into, you know, more about what happened and find out a little bit more about the people who her brother knew uh, back then when he was a teenager um, and begins to wonder whether or not he might actually be innocent after all. Um, so overall, I really like this movie, um, but in the end, we discover that there is this conspiracy between a woman and her teenage daughter. It's like they're like uh, conspirators in, like, uh, you know, this this uh, incredible sort of 
a, a crime scheme, uh, and uh, it seems really elaborate and just sort of stretches believability that this little girl, this this teenage girl, would like uh, I don't know, um, um, conspire with her mother in this whole sort of elaborate crime or something like that. I don't want to get into it, but it just sort of like it's a little uh, it's, it's a little hard to accept. Up until that point, it's it seems you know quite plausible, but uh, at that point, it just seems to you know just get a little bit much. Um, Nicholas Holt, unfortunately, doesn't have much of a character in this. He basically is just there to convey information. Um, I guess maybe his character is richer in the book, but, um, you know, I didn't read the book. I just saw the film, so it's kind of hard to say. Um, all in all, pretty good cast. Um, I'm trying to think of any other noteworthy actors that are in this, but uh, none come to mind. Um, there's another movie that I wanted to mention. Um, um, as you probably are aware, Charlize Theron is in a new movie uh, that's coming out, which is a sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman, and it looks pretty bad, so I would skip that one. And if you're not interested in dark places because of my not quite enthusiastic recommendation, I would definitely recommend seeing Young Adult. Uh, Young Adult is a movie that was directed by Jason Reitman, who um, also did uh, Juno and Thank You for Smoking and Up in the Air with George Clooney. Um, and like Juno, this was also written by uh, Diablo Cody. Uh, and um, Charlie Stern's the main character in this. She plays Mavis. Uh, she is an author, uh, but she's basically sort of a ghostwriter of young adult novels. It's a series of novels revolving around this one uh, teenage girl or girls um, that the original author decided not to do them anymore, so they hired Mavis, who's also a writer, to sort of continue on uh, with the franchise, if you will, no young adult paperback novels. And she's an incredibly shallow person, Mavis is. And like the main character in Dark Places, she really does not have her stuff together either. Her, you know, <laughs> apartment's really trashy. Uh, she doesn't take good care of her little dog. And then she finds out that her old high school boy boyfriend just uh, had a baby with his wife back in their hometown. <laughs> and she's just like becomes hopping mad about this and just like, this is unfair, I want my old boyfriend back, I'm going to go to my hometown and get him back, steal him back any way that I can. She's really, really vicious. Um, the old boyfriend is played by um, Patrick Wilson, and his wife is played by, uh, oh boy, another name I'm uh, slipping my mind. She played basically um, Edward Cullen's mother in Twilight. It was like, uh, no, I can't remember her name. Sorry. She's really good, though. She's really good. Um, and along the way, um, uh, Mavis meets uh, Patton Oswalt's character, who is another uh, uh, person who she knew back in high school, but of course she treated him like, like dirt, uh, just like she would treat everyone like dirt, because she's so full of herself and thinks she's so great, and even still does, even though she's just, like, living terribly, really. Um, <laughs> it's a really, really sort of bitterly funny movie, and... Uh, full of, you know, especially the main character is just, like, not admirable in any way, which is interesting, basically, for a film. Uh, it's my favorite film directed by Jason Reitman. I've kind of liked his other movies. This one I like a heck of a lot. Young Adults. Really, really good. And it's a sequel to Pulp Fiction. Just joking. Of course not. Um, young Adult Fiction. Uh, sorry, it's a bad joke. Anyway, um, so that's my review for this week. Um, a kind of, sort of, maybe recommendation for Dark Places. If you like that type of movie, you'll probably get into it. Um, but a strong recommendation for Young Adult, and you should definitely skip the uh, Huntsman Winter's War thingy. The only thing that would make that movie entertaining is if, uh, is if Bryce Dallas Howard walked into the castle during the climax and Charlie Stern and Emily Blunt, who play witch sisters, look, went, Look, it's Chris Hemsworth's wife! Kill her! And Bryce How Dallas Howard starts singing, I am not Jessica Chastain! That would, that would be funny, but of course that's not going to happen in this movie. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll have another theme next week. Uh, visit our Facebook page and our Instagram page. The links for all that stuff is in the description below. And I will see you next week. Later!